Hello, it's Jason with Noob Tech, and I'm here to review Yellowtail Cabaret Sauvignon 2019 from Australia. Crested by the Casella family and has a cool kangaroo, which is super Australian. I don't think you can get more, get, get more Australian than that, and I'm sure that's why it's called Yellowtail, because every kangaroo's got a yellow tail so this is about a ten dollar bottle of wine it's got a fake cork and it's one of those it's one of those um wines that grow on you when i first tasted it i didn't think it was that good but to be honest, the last uh, sip of the wine, I thought it was much better. It wasn't too bad. You know how when you get a uh, bag of gummy bears, first five are just fabulous, and then by the last one, it's just disgusting. It's the opposite of that. It's not fabulous, but it's pretty good. So, I would probably buy this again. Um, I think that's what they had on one of the yachting reality TV shows. But don't hold me on that because I'm not positive. But it, yeah, it kind of tastes like better than a $10 bottle of wine. So... I would definitely um, recommend it and uh, like and subscribe to this video and channel. And now I will talk to you about doing your own car repairs. Now... If you got money, if you okay, if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year or more, then your time is more valuable than a mechanic's. Most mechanics charge eighty bucks an hour because of the insurance and the overhead and the rent and the mechanics. A mechanic only makes like fifteen bucks an hour, but you have all those all of those other overhead costs that make make them charge you 80 bucks an hour but if if you make a hundred grand a year then you can pay that 80 bucks an hour no big deal but if you got something simple to do on your car then you can go ahead and uh, try it yourself try to do it yourself I just replaced today my AC aluminum line the uh, high side one because there was a leak in it it took me about a good three hours to do it took me 30 minutes to take it all apart and then it took me an hour to do one fitting it was, it was just tricky it shouldn't have taken that long if I would have had the right tools I could have done it in an hour no, maybe two hours. An hour to take it off, an hour to put it back on. But two hours of my time, um, it cost me in parts $150, which I would have paid someone else uh, $550 or $600. So I basically saved $450 by working two hours, maybe three hours. And I won't lie to you, I was bending over a car for most of that time and my lower back kind of hurts because I'm not used to bending over a car like that and that's why working on cars sucks. But it also um, fulfills a tool working part of your brain where you, it's just interesting to see how things work and to take it apart and learn about it and put it back together. It gives you a lot of confidence in life. You should, if you have a house, 
before you call someone to fix anything that goes wrong, you should take it apart and look at it and see if it's something just stupid simple. Because if uh, some mechanic or some some mechanic co comes out and it was a loose bolt and he just tightens it down, he's going to charge you $200 because he came out. So at least take it apart and look at it and try to understand how it works. Because remember, if you know there's a bad part and you take it apart, you buy the new part, you know how to put it back together because you took it apart. The same screws you took off, you have to put back on. And they don't make these cars. I know they, okay, these cars are technologically advanced and they put them, they put a lot of things on top of each other so they can fit everything under a hood because they have more accessories now and you got to take more things off. But just take a lot of pictures, run a mental toll on your mind on uh, tally on your mind on what you took off and in what order write it down if you have to uh, videotape it if you have to but you can do it they make these cars dumb proof because no offense to any mechanics out there I love you all but they can't make cars very competitive Confusing and complicated because mechanics they have to have mechanics work on them so they have to make them easy they put the the parts that are worked on on the outside so they're easy to get to so maintenance is supposed to be easy it's not always easy but especially with the cheaper cars the rich cars they don't really care about that because they know you're taking it to a dealer and they charge the shit out of you anyway YouTube anything that you need done see if you can do it yourself see if you think you can do it yourself you got to fiddle with it but it you'll be a stronger person once you finish put the car all back together and you start it up and it runs uh, that's the best feeling I have yet to uh, have a car not run after I put it back together. But when I was little, I took apart a VCR and I couldn't get, put it back together and I gave it to my dad. And VCRs were expensive back then, so he, was, he wasn't pissed because he was glad that I took it apart, but he had to figure out how to put it back together. Anyway, like this video. Enjoy my other videos and uh, have a good day, night, and work on your cars. You can do it. I have confidence in you. Worst comes, worst comes to worst, you just tow it to your mechanic and say, I don't know what happened. Bah.